Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of room here on my phone. Okay, we're going to get an angel message here. Okay, we have wedding here. Okay, we have here, marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that, that faith in love, dearest one. Okay? So, again, don't never settle. You deserve a deep love, okay? You could, uh, somebody could want to marry you or uh, that's what you're looking for, that, that marriage, that strong commitment here. Okay? Then we have there's nothing to worry about. Okay? So, know that you are safe um, and your situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Okay? Um, only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Okay? And then we have relationship here. Your primary relationship is with yourself and Yahweh. And every other relationship follows, follows from there. So to attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper okay and like i said connect with yahweh love yahweh seek him learn him trust him surrender okay um that's your first primary relationship that's your first love that deep soul love okay and then it's you which that is one and you are, to, you are to become one, and then everything else will align after that, okay? And then we have at the bottom of the deck, have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in Yahweh is enough, along with knowing that Yahweh works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will boy your confidence in faith okay so even if you lose you know confidence within self always keep that confidence in the divine and keep that confidence um in yahweh and he will fill you up okay let's see here Okay, this just popped out so okay so you could be very innocent here you have an innocence towards you you have an innocence about you okay we're going to use the animal deck since um since um divine animals came out we have here distractions, po uh, possum, okay, and then we have dreaming, okay. So you could be, um, okay, you could be getting distracted, okay, or people could be trying to distract you at this moment, okay, with their theatrics, okay, but uh, don't let them distract you. Don't wander off. Uh, remain on the path that you are on, okay. They trying to get you distracted before completion here. We have the lizard. Because I see you've been dreaming. Okay. You've been dreaming. Okay. And they want to cause chaos and uh, <laughs> interrupt them dreams. Okay. We have here. Okay. I see you have fullness. Okay. You have freedom. We have the eagle here. Okay. So spirit here. Okay, you're being lit. You're being liberated. Okay, we have self, the weasel. Okay, we have that in reverse though. Okay, so you could be paranoid a little bit. Okay, somebody could be trying to deceive you. Okay, yeah, they could be trying to distract you with false airs here. Okay, we have um, timing, a cicada. Okay. 
So, you know, just remain going with the flow, okay? Continue to be uh, modest, okay? We have the turkey. We have given here, okay? So these people could have been ungrateful, trying to grasp, okay? Or you could have been overgiving, okay? But it's time to balance that out. Okay, I see you're very selfless and caring and grateful. Okay, we have the toad here, mystical perception. Okay, so yeah, you have a beautiful perception and you have an inner truth about you. You have a beautiful perception and an inner truth about you and great insight. Uh, you comprehend things pretty well. Okay, you are a messenger. Okay, we have the hawk here. So you are a messenger. You have a great understanding and perception. Again, okay, we have a uh, cleansing, the frog. Okay, so you could be a uh, stagnant. Uh, it's time for you to show your body some more love. Okay, and then we have here um, cosmic ordering, the, the grasshopper. So it's definitely uh, time for you to open your ears, okay, and listen. And also, uh, it's time for you to express yourself through word, through singing, through whatever art that you, whatever art form uh, that you would use to express yourself. It's time for you to do that. We have relationship here, okay. So yeah, you're definitely, we have the vulture here. So you're definitely in need of that relationship with uh, the creator, Yahweh. We have here wishing, loom, okay? So you could live in your own world and envision uh, things too as well. Okay, we have here uh, the raccoon teamwork, okay? So you could be meeting someone. And then we have here Tantra, Tantra, the tiger, okay? You're going to have bliss. There's going to be a shift coming in here. Uh, you you did have a decrease, but you're going to have an a, a increase. Okay, we have the fox, okay? So it's time for you to stand still and trust in Yahweh here, okay? Watching work, okay? Watching work that magic. We have the raven here. Okay, so you could be an alchemist. You're having a, a, a shift of being. Okay, we have uh, holding it together. Uh, ex exquisiteness, the peacock here. Okay, so you're uh, definitely beautiful. Um, yeah, you're working on your identity, your uniqueness here. It's time to take off that mask and show who you are. You're holding it together. We have a confrontation, the boar, okay? So again, yeah, somebody, you could you could uh, be in conflict with self, uh, or again, so since people are trying to distract you with other things, okay, they could want conflict with you, okay? Because you, but you have integrity. We have the jaguar here. You've been healing, okay? Getting that justice that you deserve here, okay? You've been enduring, okay? You have endurance, the camel, okay? You're being replenished. Okay, we have the dragonfly illusion, okay? So you were brainwashed. You had a different uh, belief system which brought you disharmony here, okay? But now you're being reprogrammed, okay, to the truth, you know, real reality, okay? Um, and, 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 you know, getting peace, okay? We have a uh, feminine. So, yeah, definitely time to nourish yourself. Show yourself some compassion as well as others. We have the otter mothering here, okay? Yeah, it's time for you to, uh, we have the elk for you to, um, you're biting through everything, uh, you know, healing. Uh, you're, you're going to be a leader. You have stamina here, okay? You have respect. We have regard, the skunk, okay? Okay, and it's, uh, that talks of your sexuality and intimacy, and you deserve respect within that realm, too. And then we have the dolphin, breath, okay? So you're being awakened, okay? Uh, living in the nowness, okay? 
bottom of the deck we have the well, the bear, introspection. So you, you have depth within you. You went inward. Uh, you're very resourceful too as well. Okay. You could be seeing uh, the number 11 a lot. You could be seeing 818. You could be seeing 55, 42, uh, 44. You could be seeing double numbers um, a lot here. 33. You could be seeing 7. 11, 11. 2 as well. We're going to end it here with a few more messages here. Okay, so we have a message here. So we have partnership requires compromise and an open mind and a loving heart. Uh, and definitely with your relationship with Yahweh, you need to have an open mind and an open heart. Ooh, this is too much. Too many, too many, too many. Okay, so you need to pay close attention to the words and the actions of others. Okay, know that what you have been through can only make you stronger. The worst is over. Okay, keeping positive thoughts will have an amazing impact on the outcome. Refrain from judgments. We are all unique in experience life, experiencing life in our own way. Allow others their own journey too as well. Okay, overthinking. The situation is not healthy, so let go. Be with the, the flow of things and let go of obsessive thought patterns that you may have. Okay, the universe is communicating to you through signs and synchronicities. Note what you're doing and thinking when they appear. See what you need to surrender here. <laughs> yeah, you need to surrender that obsessive thinking. Uh, if you're obsessing about a situation or a person or anything, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Give it to Yahweh. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. Then we have here, surrender unhealthy relationships. So it's time for you to let go of all the relationships that no longer serves you including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. You deserve deep and true love, whether that be within love, within friendships, within family ships. Okay? Okay? You need to surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from the heart, you will be heard throughout the the universe and answers and support will arise for you surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times keep surrendering to more to more joy okay 
Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Uh, stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Okay? You need to surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately, identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Okay, we have here, surrender your outdated beliefs about yourself. So let go of limited ideas. Don't put yourself in a box, okay? So let go of those limited ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in life, okay? Bottom of the deck, surrender denial. Accept people in situations exactly as they are, you know? Not for what you want them to be, okay? Without denying the difficulty. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions for yourself. Let's get one of these. Okay, we have here, eliminate gossip. Okay, don't make assumptions. Making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong, okay? So watch out for that. Watch out for any gossip, okay? Watch out for any gossip that anybody brings to you, okay? Because they're serving as a distraction as well. at the bottom of the deck you are creating a you that you will be proud of okay that's what's most important making sure that you're proud of you here okay and we're going to read these um messages here it says here don't dwell on what might be on the other side of a closed door okay the will will turn in your favor so keep going okay life isn't a sprint it's a long race you're and you're not in it just to win, okay? Continue to make the most out of every open door. You will be surrounded by people with different agendas. It may scare you away, but fight it because you got this, okay? It will all soon make sense. It will all make sense to you soon, okay? Forgiveness sets you free. It keeps you from hanging on to what was never meant to be. We have here embrace what you've learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated. We have here a powerful change will transform your life. We have here you're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between all of your hard work. Remember you came here to teach others. Okay, be careful who and what you support surround yourself with. And be careful who, who and what you support, because that was going to come out my mouth, too, as well. And then also says here, don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone. So definitely let go and release what needs to be released here. Wait, before I do this, let's get some energy cards here. Okay, yeah, you're, we have 11 here, so you can see it ones a lot, okay? You're coming in perfect harmony, okay? We have sacred reverence, and I'm just going to put this up. Um, okay. I want you to see how important this is here. Okay. Okay. These came out here. So you're going to get aligned in perfect harmony with yourself and with the creator, okay? Sacred reverence. 
the key. You see that heart? You see the key. So, you have the key. The key is knowing that Spirit, Yahweh, the Most High, is everywhere in everything. He is the key to everything. Okay? And then I also know, okay, and when I refer to him, I know I always say he. So listen, this is your mother and your father. Yahweh. Okay? The A is masculine, the E is feminine in the name. The name truly spells Y-H-W-H. This is your mother and your father. Masculine and feminine. That's why you're masculine and feminine. We all have that balance within us. But this is who you need to seek, learn, love, trust, and surrender to, okay? So that you can be in perfect harmony and hold the key. And know that he is everywhere and everything has its order. Even when things may seem chaotic, you need to have an open mind and an open heart to this, okay? You're being enlightened. You are a light being. This is that strong soul love that you've been looking for. That is what you're miss, uh, missing. Okay, trust your intuition. Know that you are connected to the Most High. Um, that is your primary, your first relationship that you need to have. Everything else will fall in place. Know that you are a creator, okay? You're made in His likeness and image. He's a creator. You are too. Follow that inner voice. ears wide open. It's time for you to listen. You see this cup? Cup runneth over. That is the great and full love. Okay? And you will have great love. And you will be full. Okay? You can see 411 a lot. You can see three. You can see thirty-three, thirty-three. Look up angel number thirty-three, thirty-three. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. The oracle's gift. Okay, you can have the gift of foresight. Okay, um, you know, make a wish. Wish upon a star. What is it that you truly want within that heart of yours? Everything is being exposed and revealed to you. Open into discovery. A burst of magic. That's what you truly are. Okay, we have birds of a feather. Okay. You, you you are uh, you know what you surround yourself with <laughs> surround yourself with um, divine love you see what that does to you we have tender embrace you need to embrace this you can see the number 22 a lot okay we have body and soul so you definitely need to listen to your soul listen to that guidance okay we have the spirit of gratitude here so be thankful be thankful you know for everything okay because not a lot of people know this or get this okay this is a powerful move here so you could be about to make a powerful move move here call of the muse okay you are the muse Yahweh is the muse here okay you're being called into action to create a grand symphony listen you better make it do what it do because it's going to bear fruit bottom of the deck okay let's get you a crystal okay we have an amethyst here so, you can see the angel number uh, 4442 as well. Um, but.
but get you an amethyst here. Okay, it'll help um, with old patterns that need to be released here. Okay, unconscious habits, you know, things that were familiar to you. Okay, it also can calm your mind, you know, help you release attachment. Okay, and you can, um, and it will allow you to relax too, instead of always thinking about what you should be doing. Okay, meditate too as well, and it helps clear the mind here too as well, and helps you explore and trust in your intuitive abilities. So get you an amethyst. Okay, we have angel number 25 I am intelligent okay you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world here okay nine uh, angel number 99 so you are cor cor courageous okay it is time for you to get to work and realization of your soul's mission here in life you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill so unleash your true power okay you came here to teach here so angel number 30 imaginative okay you are an original innovative thinker an excellent uh, communicator you have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others okay yeah you're called to lead here you are a leader angel number 28 um, in an effort to accomplish great things you recognize the value of working with others you make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. We have angel number 888, so you are abundant, okay? You are abundant as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you. You're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating um, a place for abundance I mean creating a place for abundance here then we have angel number 31 I am disciplined so your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills uh, to manifest them to life okay and you know say these things to yourself I am disciplined, I am abundant, I am a leader, I am imaginative, I am courageous, I am intelligent, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have um, angel number 11, so again, you can see 11, 11 a lot, 1, 1, 1, uh, you can see 1's a lot, okay? But it says here, I am intuitive, so say that to yourself, okay? You have a keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter here. Okay. And then we have some grateful heart messages. Okay, so we have here, I have loved you even as Yahweh has loved me, even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love.
okay we have here Yahweh is my strength and shield I trust him with all my heart he helps me and my heart is filled with joy I burst in songs of thanksgiving and then we have here memory keeps gratitude fresh we have memory keeps gratitude fresh and gratitude keeps faith fruitful okay we have here I can do all things through him who strengthens me okay we have here open your mouth and taste open your eyes and see how good Yahweh is we have here Yahweh will keep you from all harm we have here Yahweh is for me so I will have no fear what can mere people do to me we have here oh Yahweh you are so good so ready to forgive so unfailing love so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help okay and I just want to go back to um, I know that came out ask your soul ask okay then we have here point out the road I must travel I'm all ears all eyes for you we have here Yahweh is magnificent he can never be praised enough there are no boundaries to his greatness we have here thanks to be Yahweh who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him joy runs deeper than despair we have here call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver you and you shall glorify me we have here the words of Yahweh are pure bottom of the deck peace I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid And then we're going to end this with some music here. We have Bottom of the Deck, Wale, Dearly Beloved. Okay, so know that you are loved. Okay, we have Koi Lee Ray, Twinnenham, Megan Thee Stallion, Riller. We have Outcast, Vibrate. We have all nations cry out. This doesn't belong in this deck. It says here, I am soft, given, grateful, and understanding. Okay? So say that to yourself here. We have J. Cole featuring Janae Iko. Uh, Sparks will fly. We have John Legend cross the line. Essence. Featuring Tim's by Wiz the Kid. We have Maroon 5, Beautiful Mistake. At Etana, Natural Beauty. And I don't know why I do that when a Little Baby, The Bigger Picture. It was another song. But I done popped it back in the deck. Oh well. Let's get one more, please. Okay. So just to re go over the songs here, we have Josephine Clark, The Great Escape. We have All Nations Cry Out, and really go check these songs out. There could really be a message to you here. We have, again, All Nations Cry Out. We have Josephine Clark, The Great Escape. We have Outcast Vibrate. We have Megan Thee Stallion, Riller. We have Koi Lee Ray, Twinnenham. We have Wale, Dearly Beloved. We have Little Baby, The Bigger Picture. We have Itana, Natural Beauty. We have Maroon 5 featuring Megan Thee Stallion, Beautiful Mistake. 
We have Essence featuring Tim's by Wiz the Kid. We have John Legend Cross the Line. We have J. Cole featuring Janae Iko, Sparks Will Fly. We have Mick Jennings Jenkins featuring Dean Dex Hiller. So go and check those songs out. Again, I hope you all got a message uh, from this reading here. Thank you all for listening and blessings to you.